in the earlier case we have discussed about the center lathe or engine lathe next we are going to discuss about the capstan lathe turret lathes and copying lathes so these are the various types of lathes we can say it as types of lathes a capstan lathe is a lathe which is designed to use number of cutting tools which are mounted in a rotating turret and arranged to perform the turning operations successively and this machine is a similar both in appearance to the center lathe the only difference here is here you can able to observe the replacement of tail stock so tail stock is totally missing when you compare this one with the normal engine lathe so instead of tail stock we are having a hexagonal turret on the top surface of the hexagonal uh, auxiliary slide we are having a hexagonal turret with a saddle attachment so that is the difference from the normal center lathe to the capstan lathe and turret lathe in turret also we will have similar setup like this only we will we will see what is the difference between the capstan and a turret lathe little bit later and here the most common construction will be we are having two kinds of legs and we are having a tray there is a head stock instead of tail stock we are having a turret case that is hexagonal turret position and we are having the cross slide carriage tool post and everything will be common and if you observe the difference from capstan lathe to the turret lathe so this is the turret lathe case okay so this particular surface is totally having a change when you compare with the normal engine lathe to the capstan lathe okay and here when you compare with capstan lathe to the turret lathe we are having an auxiliary slide saddle on the top surface we are having a hexagonal tail this auxiliary sliding is missing in the turret lathe whereas saddle will be there on the top surface of the saddle we were having a hexagonal turret since we are having the we, since we are having the hexagonal turret which is going to be mounted on the top surface of the saddle the movement of the tool is having a restriction okay so the movement of the tool i like i can say the travel length of the tool is almost full to the entire body whereas in the case of a axillary slide the movement of the tool is restricted in the capstan lathe so let me go with the differences i think that that will be the major differences between a turret lathe and a capstan lathe okay if you if you find out the differences major, majorly I, i can able to concentrate on axillary slide is present here axillary side is not present here then i can able to say that uh, capability of handling the tools capability of handling the tools so capability of handling the job tools or jobs or i can you know, say uh, like uh, capability of handling the i can modify it as jobs so here in the caps in the capstan lathe i can able to say that uh, like uh, he, this particular uh, uh, machine is having a turret slide so low profile jobs will be there and here heavier jobs can be mounted that is one of the basic thing and depending upon the turret position also i can able to say turret head is mounted directly on the saddle here turret mud is mounted on to the axillary slide and then on to the saddle that is the difference next uh, type of uh, type of carriage movement type of carriage so here the type of carriage is uh, reach over in the turret it is a reach over type whereas in the capstan lathe it is equipped with reach over type only since it is employed for relatively smaller jobs okay and i will have a dis- uh, discussion with respect to some differences here here you can able to uh, observe here okay limited to the manufacture of the work and here the spindle nose is the spindle nose of this machine is threaded outwardly for screwing four split surface and here lead screw does not give and thread is produced by using the threading head mounted on the capstan head lead head gives the cutting 
particularly whereas in the turret lead lead screw will give the cutting action and here you can observe uh, in the capstone lathe small sizes whereas in the turret lathe i can able to produce large size of equal parts and here feed rod give the longitudinal feed here the feed rod does not give the longitudinal feed and here you can able to observe the carriage is given with front tool post with rear tool post also but here the carriage is given by turret tool post and the rear tool post used for only for holding the port but no cutting action is going to be takes place here here if you observe we are having stop rolls and here also we are having the stop rolls but to determine the longitudinal movement of the cross slide it is the depends upon their cycle again so like this these are the various kinds of uh, differences from the capstan lathe to the turret lathe and next we will discuss about the copying lathe see in the capstan or turret lathe or the engine lathe we are trying to do only one job later again the operator has to do this, that particular job multiple number of times but here in the copying lathe we are going to create the template we are going to create the template of the sequence of operations so based upon that one we are going to develop a blueprint and that blueprint is going to be given the machine and then we are going for machining operations and here the copying lathes are made for plane contour three dimensional combining profiling so like mechanical hydraulic electrical photoelectric with servo mechanism and without a servo mechanism and it is particularly used for manufacturing of long work pieces which are turned between the centers for example if the turn between the centers is 600 mm 600 mm long i can able to use that particular work in that depends upon my application okay and if you try to observe this one this job is having certain kind of curved profile okay and it is convenient and economical to produce this particular thing in a lot production okay and here whatever the job is there for example this is my outer surface of my job so this entire outer surface of the job whatever the sequence of operations it is required for the cutting tool in this particular direction these are things and all getting recorded in the template profile later this template is going to be saved and then we are trying to give the same thing to the machine so that it is going to remove the material depending upon the template profile which it is having